I finished this video of going from uh, Kex to Dex and then from Dex back to Kex, but um, I have to put this at the beginning because I forgot to add something at the very beginning, and that's before you get started from going from Dex to Kex, always make sure that you go here to toggle QA flag in the rebug toolbox, and the first thing you should do is to click that and make sure it's switched over to enable like mine is now. When you're in DEX mode, you should never be switching that uh, toggle QA flag. You should only do it only when you're in KEX mode. So before you switch over to DEX, make sure it, you switch it uh, over to enable. Right? And again, like I mentioned in, uh, in the video and you're, as you're about to hear, don't forget to turn off any spoofers before you go from KEX to DEX. If you have them on, make sure there's no disk in your disk drive and make absolutely sure you're not signed into the PSN network. All right, so let's go ahead and let's uh, pick up from where I started. Hey guys, what's up and welcome to the video. I'm here today, I'm going to show you how to go from KEX to DEX and then back from DEX to KEX. So these are the steps according to how Juni told me to do them. And Juni is the creator of rebugs are pretty much, um, you know, what they say is the law. That's how it goes. So I really don't listen to what anybody else says. I go by what the people who create the program, the developers, actually say. So if you want to have um, the least amount of issues or no issues at all, then you should follow these procedures. So anyway, let's go ahead and let's get started. Make sure that whenever you're switching from KEX to DEX or back, um, that before you switch, you go here into debug settings and anything that you messed with here, make sure you set it back to its default. So everything in the debug settings, it is recommended that you switch back to default before anything else. So if you made any changes here, put them back. Let's go ahead and let's go in the rebug toolbox and I'll meet you there. Okay, here in the rebug toolbox, let me go ahead and show you that I am, you see my uh, LV2 kernel and my target type are both kex. Okay, uh, so the first thing also we're going to do is make sure that system mode is set to normal, which it is. Make sure that um, if you are in KEX right now, that this debug menu type is set to KEX. Okay, if you are in DEX, then you would, uh, you know, you would make sure that you set it to DEX once you're in DEX, which we're going to cover here in a bit. So first steps first, let's go ahead and let's move over to. Um, we're going to do a uh, dump EID root key. And when you do this, after a few seconds, your PS3 will beep and reboot. Oh, and also, before you begin this process, I forgot to tell you guys that this should go without saying. If you have any spoofers that are activated, make sure your spoofers are turned off before you're switching uh, to go from one to the other. Also, make sure that you're never signed into PSN network. Make sure there's also no disk in the disk drive whenever you're switching from one thing to the other. All right, so now we need to come back into the rebug toolbox. And once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to select rewrite target ID and flash, which is right there. And we're going to hit yes. Okay, and then that's only going to take a couple of seconds. Now we're going to choose swap LV2 kernel. We're going to hit OK. And the system is going to reboot. Okay, now here we are back in the rebug toolbox. We'll go to system information. You can see that our LV2 kernel is in DEX and our target type is DEX as well. Um, and here, if you like, you can go into the debug menu type. I already switched it before I started up the video again. I forgot, but you can go to debug menu and then put that over to DEX as well. But that's optional. You really don't have to do it. Um, if you're not going to mess with the debug stuff, then don't worry about it. Um, and that's pretty much it. So that's how you go from KEX to DEX. Now we'll go ahead and we will go in reverse and we'll go from KEX. Uh, we'll go from DEX back to KEX. All right, guys, so here we are, and we are going to go back to DEX, I mean back to KEX mode. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go into the rebug toolbox. Now, just to show you that my um, system is still on DEX, 
Okay, you can see there the level two kernel is dex, target type is dex. Okay, now before we do anything else, again, make sure um, your system is set back to normal where it says system mode. Make sure your debug menu, if you switch it over to dex, put it back to kex QA. Okay, and then um, we're going to go ahead and we are going to begin the process to go back to dex. So let's go ahead and we're going to dump the EID root key once again. Okay, and now back here at the XMB, your system is going to reboot. Um, the screen is going to go dark and reboot after a few seconds. Let's go back into the rebug toolbox. Go over to, um, let's see if I remember where it's at. There we go. We're going to go over to rewrite target ID in flash. And we're just going to press X and hit yes. Okay. And we're going to hit OK. And now you're going to hit OK and your system will reboot again. Okay, so back here we look at our system information. We'll see that the LV2 kernel is back to KEX. The target type is back to KEX. Okay, um, when you are going from KEX to DEX, if you looked at my instructions, the number four step says you have to swap the LV2 kernel. But when you're going from DEX back to KEX, that step is not needed because when you write, uh, when you select rewrite target ID, it does the LV2 for you automatically. Okay, so now, as you see, we are fully back in Kex, and that's it. We're good to go. All right, so that's it, guys. Hope you like the tutorial. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Very easy. So I don't know why people are have so much complications with this. <laughs> anyway, thanks again. Make sure you subscribe. Thumbs up. We'll see you next time, guys. Take care.